And first up right now, we start with some breaking news tonight at 5. Stopping gun violence is a big issue at the state capitol today. Governor Ned Lamont's gun bills have crossed their first hurdle. And 120 Americans are killed every day in this country. Chief political reporter Susan Raff is joining us live at the state capitol in Hartford with the very latest. Susan. Aaron, even though the governor's bill is one bill, there were many different proposals in it. Now, this is pretty much a big deal. In fact, it is the largest update to the state's gun laws since the shootings at mass or mass shootings at Sandy Hook. And but unlike the debate that took place right after Sandy Hook, today's debate here in the House didn't take very long at all. Reaching up, grabbing something, the jacket, you're not going to get in trouble for that. The gun bill debate didn't take very long. Gun violence is a priority of Governor Lamont's, and Democrats had the votes. Gun violence is an epidemic, right? But there's been more mass shootings in the United States than days. To prevent another mass shooting and reduce crime, Governor Lamont wants to ban carrying firearms openly in public, ban ghost guns that are not registered or serialized, limit purchases to three handguns in a 30-day period, and expand safe storage. Storage. I think we've got um, strong support for the gun safety laws, especially given all the mass killings you've seen around the country. Some of the proposals didn't get support from Republicans. There are members that feel that we should be doing more to go after the actual criminal act and stop going after law-abiding gun owners. I, I relive it in some capacity every day. Tara Donnelly's parents were murdered with a stolen gun. Kim and Tim Donnelly owned a jewelry store in Fairfield. In 2005, they were shot and killed by Christopher DeMeo, who had robbed a Greenwich home and had stolen the owner's handgun. Governor Lamont's sweeping gun control bill requires safe storage of all firearms, not only in homes where a minor may have access. Really making an effort to, to save lives. There's nothing more valuable than human lives. To get this bill through the House today, several provisions were taken out. And coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, we'll tell you what those provisions were and what's next. For now, we are live at the State Capitol in Hartford. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Susan, thank you. Well, this is certainly an issue a lot of people think about and talk about. We do want to hear from you. Does Connecticut need stricter gun control laws? You can see right now, pretty much divided. 48% of you say no. You can weigh in yourself at WFSB.com or our app to vote now.